Tonight, a Port Arthur neighborhood is voicing its concerns about vacant houses after a building collapsed. KFDM's Kara Dixon talked to some of those residents and joins us now. So, Kara, how are these neighbors reacting to this? Greg, residents on 11th Street in Port Arthur say they live in a good neighborhood, but abandoned and vacant homes take away from it. I talked to the residents who say they're waiting on the city to help fix the problem and what the city is going to do about it. Willis Washington is known as the Fix-It Man on 11th Street in Port Arthur. But the scene he came home to gave him the feeling there was something going on he may not be able to fix. It kind of made me nervous when I seen all these people riding in. And I wanted to know what was happening. There was no way Washington could miss this. A house crumbled to the ground. It just went down like it was supposed to. Emergency crews responded to a call around 1.30 p.m about the vacant building collapsing. It tilted way out here and I was like, oh my God, I hope nobody's in there. And fortunately, that was not the case. Caleb Zachary, who lives across the street, says it reminded him of a natural disaster. It looked like a hurricane had just come through. For these residents, it was a reminder Hurricane Ike is still affecting them today. It doesn't really look that good when you have two, three houses down the street that's empty, run-down houses with elderly people on the inside. The city of Port Arthur says it's working on the problem. 325 homes damaged by Ike will be demolished by the Southeast Texas Regional Planning Commission starting in the next few weeks. For now, Washington is trying to do his part. Only thing I've done was kind of boarded up some of the houses that was abandoned and uh, just left it like that for right now. And he has one less building he's worried about maintaining. I, I, don't, I don't have to do no more work on it. All I got to do is just tear, tear, tear the rest of it down. The city says the demolition should begin in the next couple of weeks and hope the process will be smooth and quick. In the studio, Kara Dixon, 6 News Tonight.